Every year on this, the youngest of the Western Church's feast days, I'm always struck at how strange and out of tune these readings sound at this time of year. Like somehow the texts are flirting with Easter at the bar while Christmas is waiting in the other room dressed up and ready to take us to dinner. I think some of it has to do with the fact that Jesus' destiny is never really far from him, is it? That dark and foreboding cloud this morning is shaped like the words, for this I was born and for this I came into the world. On Christ the King Sunday, we are, all of us, being reminded that not only is that defenseless, sweet, and vulnerable baby we will be making our way to through our Advent journey a king, but that he is the King of Kings. And that all those other kings, those infinitely lesser kings, those kings that always manage to lay some corrupt claim to at least some of our allegiance are a hindrance to what must come if wholeness and unity and divinity are to be hoped for.